you're obviously, as a primary care physician, extremely knowledgeable. This is uh, clearly to me, it's one of your passions. But that's not necessarily true for all of your colleagues. So at, how, how do we sort this through? How, how do your colleagues feel comfortable in knowing what's the next step, uh, et cetera? In the, in the world of primary care, is there training going on right now? Uh, share with us how, how we deal with that issue. Yeah, the role of genetics in medicine is really taking the forefront right now in a lot of continuing medical education. And unfortunately, of course, you're right. It's hard to spread information throughout the medical community quickly. And so we can't be confident that everyone knows that. But we do have you have references such as the US Preventive Services Task Force, which anyone can look at, but certainly most, most primary care physicians use as a place to start when thinking about whether someone might be at higher risk and might need to consider genetic testing for breast cancer or another cancer. And we encourage people to be honest. We encourage physicians. I train physicians. We encourage them to be honest about what they know and what they don't know. And I would ask patients to say to their doctors, how confident are you about this? How comfortable are you with this knowledge area? Because if your doctor doesn't like that question, maybe it's time to find a new doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.